when it comes to exploits in the kingdom please listen the principal channel listen to me please the principal channel for receiving the miraculous is faith the principal channel for participating in the miraculous is faith are we together now and your faith is inactive until the word of god brings it alive and so i want you to please pay attention there are so many believers who expect god to step in and bring healing miracles i was so touched whilst the testimonies were being shared and um but then not surprised only grateful i would be surprised if i were the doer are we together the integrity of god's word the bible has this to say it says heaven and earth listen shall pass away heaven and earth shall pass away you know why they will pass away because the word created them both are we together heaven and earth shall pass away but the word of the lord abides forever the principal channel for committing god to perform in your life is the word of god please listen the principal channel for committing god is not your tears your tears move god but they cannot commit him your lamentation can move god the bible says for we do not have a high priest who has not been touched with the feelings of our infirmity but being touched is not the same as responding to it the only channel that can commit god's integrity to bring him to the scene to perform on your behalf is the word of god i need you to understand this not a man of god he may only be a vehicle but the principal channel for committing god is the word of god whenever we talk about faith it is simply the vehicle that gives the word of god expression and i'll just charge us a little it's important for us to know that the word of god can be trusted the scripture that we read this bible look up please this bible that we read the bible says it was inspired of the holy ghost are we together holy men wrote it as they were moved by the spirit so regardless of the imperfection of the translators regardless of the imperfection of the writers the sovereignty of god still vetoes their imperfection and makes this word capable of producing results when believed and acted upon are we together your faith every time in scripture jesus would challenge the faith of the recipients jesus never told anyone you have asked a hard thing it was elijah who told his son in the gospel you have asked a hard thing it is possible but jesus will only ask them believest thou thy faith has given this to you let me give you a very interesting definition of faith that i got from bishop oedipo and uh, this this is one of his most recent definitions and it is absolutely powerful this is what he said faith is sharing responsibilities with god in the light of his word so as to get your desired result faith is sharing responsibilities with god as defined or in the light of his word so as to get your desired result shared responsibility shared responsibility there is a path to your miracle listen please that depends on god that is exclusively left to his wisdom and power and sovereignty but there is a path to the delivery and the manifestation of your miracle that depends on an operation you must do so many believers want to receive from god listen please we come to god but we approach god as though approaching an idol 
hoping that he will perform some magic no there are spiritual dynamics to reception your faith your faith your faith your faith we have a series on that and we're going to start that series next week i'm going to be sharing with you some deep dynamics about faith because it's important for us to get results results are predictable say it after me one more time results are predictable there is there is a there is a technology there is a system of predictability to results that's why we're gathered here tonight we're not gathered to some kind of haphazard trial and error i know you will be blessed i know you will be healed it's not pride it's the truth there is a formula for this i know your life will change i know that demon will leave your life forever I know you will walk out of here with breakthrough that will bring tears to your eyes but there is a system there is a system please brothers and sisters imagine imagine for one minute that you go to the hospital listen you go to the hospital with your pregnant wife about to give birth and the doctor tells you that look this name doctor is just there oh, let me just confess i'm not exactly sure let's trust god and see what will happen and your wife is crying and saying i'm losing my life how would you love such a doctor and you ask him who gave you that title that you put in front of your name because the title is an implication hmm. are we together the title is an implication the title means you were certified the title means you went through rigorous seasons that trained your mind to be intelligent on that wise now that's when when god names a meeting is an implication if he calls it a miracle service it means he sat down and sat within himself if he had the power to back up that name God never speaks until he looks at himself and finds out whether it is within his ability to back up what he has said. If he called it a miracle service, then that is a miracle service indeed. It has never been about the inability of God to step into people's lives. Please listen. There is no case represented here today that is above and beyond the power of God to step in. No, you would be lying. Are we together you know sometimes the mountains that stand before us and trust me i'm human there are mountains that can stand before people but you see that mountain remains only as big as your inability to trust god makes it look there are mountains it says time will fail me to talk of gideon and jephthah and barak men who through faith subdued kingdoms not cities kingdoms so the foundation the foundation please listen the foundation for biblical faith is an encounter with the word of god you must find out what he has said about the issue of concern that is step one to commit him more on that during the faith series but it is important you have no right to lay any claims on anything you have not searched out because god limits himself to the provisions that his word can afford hear me whatever the word of god can afford god can provide it did you hear me whatever the word of god can afford god can pay for it whatever the word of god can afford it is within the sovereign power of god to pay for it your first assignment is to find out i've been barren for eight years they said i have no fallopian tube thank you doctors but they are practicing and you come to the word of god and check and then the bible says your marriage shall be a blessing it says your children not even a child surround your table now the next thing is whose report will you believe are we together 
the trouble is we do not meditate on the word to a point of restful persuasion restful persuasion but i know whom i have believed and i am persuaded you don't read the bible like a novel no the entrance of your word eventually as you pay attention to the word let me tell you i know what i'm saying believe me when you study scripture with all your heart an activity of the holy ghost begins to happen from those letters through your eyes into your spirit from those letters through your eyes through your ears into your spirit it says so then faith comes by hearing and understanding by the word of god it's not just hearing it's not just seeing when you discover the promises the prophecies the provision your next assignment is to meditate upon the word to get to a point of restful persuasion persuasion that says if i perish i perish but i found it i found my bailout i found it oh they say i must uh, this and that and that and that i cannot have a child i've tried i've been having miscarriages oh men of god have prayed for me they are not herbalist get to the word get to the word father this is your word i commit you prophet isaiah in chapter 38 moved by the holy ghost went to hezekiah and said put your house in order you will not recover from this sickness isaiah was a major prophet when a major man of god with a track record speaks to you it's almost like a done deal but a man used the word of god to change prophecy ah, the words you speak turn things help me that the word of god can veto any prophecy any enchantment any pronouncement yes they said it but i change it yes they said everybody in my family is ss but i found a provision there is a bailout mystery i can't die as i can't die ss it is within my power to change it let me tell you there is nobody that prophesies a nonsense destiny to me i have worked with god enough to know that the keys are in the hands of a man hezekiah turned his face and said oh god remember my sacrifices is it not your word that 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 says how that they that give you know paraphrasing that he will remember you in the day of trouble and remember your sacrifice i have given to your house why should i die like a chicken no assumption you must bring your strong reasons no assumption you assume you will die like a chicken you must bring your your strong reason don't say even god knows as i hear you say as i hear you say many believers want things to happen let me tell you something faith is hard work are you hearing what i'm saying you've got to find it and sit down until the word of god superimposes your doubt i know there is a rent of five hundred thousand to pay the rent is not in the spirit the landlord is alive i know i know statistics says that there are no jobs in nigeria i know there is recession in nigeria but when you find it in the world now listen when you find it in the word and meditate let me tell you what meditation does here's how you know you are finished meditating you are finished meditating the moment you discover your role when you discover the part you have to play you are finished your meditation you meditate until you find it good master what shall i do to inherit eternal life not will you give me what is my part good master what is my part lord what is my part to be healed oh god
God, will you heal me? That's wrong prayer. That's immature spiritual communication. What is my role? It is within your power. Good master, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? And Jesus didn't say, no, 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 no. Eternal life is cheap. No. As cheap as salvation is, there is still a role you have to play. Are we together? It says the word is nigh thee in thy heart and in thy mouth. Even the word of faith which we preach, right? 